hi guys welcome back to the channel so this message is for Aries. i know i'm in my bed right now but i feel like sitting here there are some messages that need to be told right here in this element so let's see what the angels want for you today let's see what they need you to know okay we have the full well no the three of swords okay in reverse tell me more for Aries. We have the Queen of Wands. Someone is definitely not entertained right now. This is what I'm feeling. Like, okay. And we have the Eight of Cups. I feel like what's going on here is a process of trying to move on, trying to move forward, um, going through a disappointment within this person. This is what I'm feeling like. This person isn't giving you the time of day or what what you want from this relationship because i feel like you gave this person everything in the queen of wands you cherish this person you nourish them anything that they needed at the time you were there and i feel like what's going on here this person is not giving you that same um love that same appreciation so what's going on is you cutting them off and saying hey enough is enough here okay I feel like you want to walk away from this, but this is something that you're feeling like you have to do because this person's actions, the way they're, the way, the, the energy that they're throwing out towards you, you just feel like this is something that you have to do. Maybe because this person doesn't, you know, um, show you any kind of affection, um, any kind of appreciation. Like you feel like there is a, there is, like this is the only option. I don't feel like this is something that you, you're truly passionate about, like you want to leave. I feel like you know inside that there's a possibility that you might come back. It's like you're doing what everybody wants you to do. This is what I'm feeling here. And if you don't feel like this is the right thing for you to do within this relationship, like giving up on us now, you shouldn't. This is what I'm hearing, okay? Because what's gonna happen is that you're just gonna return. So let me see what we have here. I feel like this person is highly attracted towards you and you know it because you're coming off very attractive. And this is a problem too. Tell me more. When it's, um, I'm getting like this energy when it's time to be serious within this person and let them know, hey, you're serious, you're not playing games. It's like this attraction, the way you're coming off, it's like so hard for this person to stay focused um, because when they see you, you know, it spikes up that, that interest of, okay, I just want to get down with you right now. Can we just do that kind of energy? They're not really, you don't feel like they're valuing your seriousness. Tell me more. Wow, the two of wands. The King of Pentacles in reverse. And the King of Cups in the upright. Very interesting, Pierre. So I feel like this person, when it comes to this Three of Swords, there was a mistake here, okay? Obviously, they made a mistake. Um, they had a choice to make. Uh, they felt like, you know what? They were like going back and forth with this decision, by the way. Very indecisive. Um, not making this decision fast enough. And this could even point to... Because these are ones, you know, fast-paced elements, okay? And the one that's in reverse, they're kind of slow. It's like slow or not moving at all, you know? Um, and I feel like when they needed to make a decision between you and something else, they really just didn't, you know? And this is their mistake. Because here we have the Three of Swords. You're dealing with this person not choosing you or valuing you or, you know, making you feel like you are the one that they wanted to be with. There's some kind of disconnect here, okay? This is what I'm seeing with this three of swords, all right? And you're kind of like, because of course this three of swords is in reverse. So I definitely feel like there is some kind of like growing or understanding or letting things go when it comes to this this discovery. Well, there could be another person that they didn't choose you for, or it could just be um, this person just breaking your heart and not making you be the number one, you know? I feel like this person realized their failure in this connection and realized that they have made you wait way too long, okay? When it comes to stability, again, we're bringing up the stability. When it comes to the security in this relationship, I feel like 
they have what it takes, but there is some kind of disconnect within this person that they feel like they don't at this point. Like they have to work, work, work to build up their money, to stay grinding. They feel like they could like fall off the wagon anytime now and then lose everything that they have worked really hard for. This is what I'm seeing, but I'm also seeing this offer in the upright and they're like both very um, older energy kind of vibe, you know, like I know what I'm doing. Um, I'm ready for this. This person is appearing to be very um, trustworthy, very connected with their their emotional side of things that are afraid to tell you, hey, I love you kind of vibe here, okay? I just feel like this person wants to be with you emotionally, but there's something about money here that doesn't feel right. It's like, I don't feel like this person is telling you the truth when it comes to their financial matters, and this is could also be connected with someone else here why they can't give this to you so this person might have been in a relationship before with someone else this is what I'm feeling and the money or some kind of money is still tied up or some kind of stability that they have collabed with this person with is still showing up as unavailable when it comes to you okay so let's see what we have. Wow, we have mutual feelings here. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the Queen of Cups here, okay? I'm seeing the Knight of Wands, okay? I'm seeing the Hangman. So let's just talk about these. It's funny how so far I haven't had any major cards, but I do have a lot of elements like um, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. And then we have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces here as well. We also have Aries, Leo, or Sag, and the Queen of Wands being here. Um, those are elements, okay? Um, we have um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces again here, and Fire Signs again with Aries, Leo, and Sag. Now, I have a major card, okay, which is important. This could be a major um, sign, okay, when it comes to the zodiac signs that you're dealing with. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces or someone. They don't have to be a Pisces, but this person could be... Um, someone that really like keeps a lot of emotions in and knowing how to um, like they practice how to not act on their emotions if that makes sense so this person will make you feel like again waiting too long to approach you about a situation okay or making a decision not making any movements or waiting for things to die down around them and thinking like that's how you solve something this is what this person does and now I feel like they're waiting for you to come back to them or to talk to them or to approach them with a text or a call to say hello kind of vibe this is what I'm feeling here but I'm also seeing mutual feelings with this queen of cups here because we had the king of cups so a lot of you and it's like in the upright with both cards too and it's so funny that a lot of you want to be with each other. Emotionally, you're connected. This is what I'm feeling. Emotionally, you feel the same way about each other. You want this commitment with each other. But of course, you have your little issues, okay? Um, nobody's relationship is perfect where you feel like, again, there might be someone else or th there might be something that this person is hiding from you when it comes to work because I'm seeing like this person is working or all their, um, their energies into their money, okay? Their money. I feel like this person needs to save or something. This is what it is. And they're kind of like slow process or not moving at all when it comes to love, but they're, again, very attractive towards you, very flirtatious. I'm seeing very um, free-spirited. I feel like this person is someone that is going to commit, like I said, um, in many of my readings, when I see these knights here, especially when it's a fire sign, when it's a air sign, they commit not with circumstances. So you can have a child for them. You could have everything that, you know, this person, this anyone would ever have like you could be the empress for example you know very capable very um stable in life have your head on your shoulders um very successful in life you know um em embracing and experiencing a, a, a luxury life okay you could be a celebrity but if this person in their heart don't feel like 
you are the one for them. They're not going to commit to you no matter how much money you have, no matter how beautiful or handsome you appear to be, no matter what you give them, okay? So just know that this is the kind of person that you're dealing with, okay? Someone that is going to choose and, and, and definitely like to have their power. It's all about power here in these wands, okay? So let's see. And I feel like um, this is an Aries reading. So definitely Aries, your vibe is, this is probably you as well. Dealing with the Pisces. Ooh, and you're just like, uh, this person wants to commit. Yes, you're emotionally invested with them as well. But at the same time, it's like, I'm going to sneeze you guys. <laughs> Excuse me. May, at the, the same time, it's just like it has to feel right for you emotionally, physically, spiritually. Everything has to be there. This cup has to be in the upright and it has to be something that you want. Okay. So tell me more. Right. So we have the seven. Okay. The Seven of Swords on the back of the deck. So this is definitely something um, that you're about to find out here. I feel like a lot of you are on this adventure trying to find out the truth because what's happening here is this person has been lying to you. Um, a lot of you might be backing up or running away from this relationship because, you know, this person is appearing to be a liar and you can't trust anything that they say. Um, right now, I feel like you don't have the proof. This is what's going on here with the Seven of Swords. I feel like you're trying to find out the truth. I feel like people are telling you things or, you know, saying, hey, did you hear about this? This happened to so-and-so, whatever. But you need proof, right? You need proof, and that's what you're on your way to find out. Now, we do have communication, so get ready for that. The King of Swords is here. This is a big form of communication. I like seeing swords coming up in the reading because not only do you have a lot of mutual feelings for each other, but this person is like, this person is thinking like they're not capable of taking care um, or taking on another responsibility at this time for some reason. I don't know what this is about, but I feel like if they wanted to and really wanted to, they could, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like you're going to have a conversation with this person about, you know, going back and forth. Um, one moment they're in, one moment they're out. And I feel like this is burning you out. You're very tired of this. You want to see process, you know, not a process, but you, yeah, you want to have a process of, you want to have a, like move to move into a process, you know, um, of seeing something actually work and seeing like you're taking steps and, um, it, you know, it's going to take a little bit longer, but at the same time, you want to see things moving along you know even if it's a slow process you still don't care you want to see that you want to have that um within this relationship and i feel like that's going to be communication for you and this person because your son is just in the reverse for some of you could be dealing with a leo here and also we have the nine of cups in reverse so there's a lack of appreciation this is what i'm feeling like this person they're 11 11 like this is 11 11 for me um, not for, well, a couple of cards in my 11 but this one is really just letting me know that this person doesn't feel like something is right, you know? They don't feel very stable or secured in this relationship, or do you? You know it, they know it, and they're not going to commit to anything that doesn't feel right. Um, <clears throat> and I feel like you're going to have a huge conversation about this. So get ready for that. This is what I have for you guys. I hope it resonates. And if it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here. In, well, on the channel. I'm in my bedroom and I hope you guys don't mind. But I'm so comfortable right here, right now. I had some tea earlier, <laughs> you guys. And my breakfast, yes, in bed. Today is the weekend and I'm getting ready for Thanksgiving. So, yeah, you guys, I'm just taking it easy. Because I have to clean, deep clean this house before we have any companies but love you and i will see you guys in the next read bye guys